All right, guys, we've finally made it. It was the best of times, mostly the worst of times. Series finale, Breaking Bad, just happened. And this is Spoiler Talk Breaking Bad, series finale edition. All right, so I'm Josh. I'm Tommy. And series finale, go. Walt died. I guess that's the biggest point. There's not a lot to all that happened. Walt died. Well, that he's in a car, it's cold, cops come, he kills himself. Well, I mean, there was... okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Walt's in a car. As cops are passing him by, he's saying a little... He's speaking with his, uh, Jesus. Possibly Satan. Probably Satan. Yeah, well, I mean, point. whoever he was talking to, they helped him, because they gave him car keys. Mm -hmm. They sent them from... The... Visor. The visor thing. <laughs> they fall from the visor, and he grabs the keys, and he goes on to do his final deeds. Because we already told you he died. So that... Well, this is spoiler talk. <laughs> you should be prepared. <laughs> anyway, first thing he does, he poses as a journalist for the New York Times. It doesn't matter. One of those. And... He finds the new address to Elliot and the girl. Gretchen. Gretchen of Grey Matter. He goes to their house, and after last episode, you guys know if you've been watching, I put them on my hit list. Yeah. I wanted them both dead after last episode. And I was like, this is it, he's gonna do it. I didn't think he would, to be honest. And I was really happy. And then... He didn't kill them, but what he did was so much better, so much worse than killing them. They're going to be looking over their shoulder for the next 10 months until they give Walt's money to Walt Jr. He gives them the money. He says, you're going to give this to Walt Jr. as a donation from Grey Matter, and no one's going to bat an eye because you guys are rich, and obviously you're going to help out your former partner's son whose dad went crazy. And he says that he has a hit on both of them if they don't do it, and it's perfect, and they're both really obviously terrified, and it was a beautiful moment. My, that was my second favorite part of the episode. That, that was a beautiful moment. Yeah, I threatening loved, them. I loved it. I thought they could have done better. No, um, what? Acting wise. Okay, well, acting Gretchen wise. and Elliot, they were. Pretty, <laughs> well, know. they're secondary characters at best. So. <laughs> But yeah, my favorite part of the whole episode, maybe of the whole series, was that we got to see Badger in the finale. <laughs> yeah, we saw Badger and, uh, what's his name, Skinny Pete. Skinny Pete. Who's an incredible pianist. Mm -hmm. Say it, Tommy, just say it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Actual favorite part of the show was Walt talking with Skylar. This was the, probably the part of the entire series. This is the part. He finally admits what we've pretty much known all along to Skylar. He was not doing this for his family. He wasn't doing it for Walt Jr. He wasn't doing it for his daughter. He wasn't doing it for her. He liked it and that it was fun. And that's why he did it. And I thought that was a great part on both of their parts. Acting of the year awards well, yeah. all around on that in that scene. It was incredible. I mean, it was good. Uh, I kind of give his storyline a little bit of closure. But for me, it left Skylar and the kids like too open-ended. Because you could see she was like admiring how he's like being honest all of a sudden and like really coming back around to not hating him so much that's what I, that's what i think is her closure it's like that's kind of what she's been waiting for you know but now how's she gonna react that she like when she finds out he's dead well i think she knew that he was going to be he kind of did tell her he told her he was going to get arrested he said that they were going to find him he didn't say he was going to turn himself in well we still didn't get a goodbye to flynn yeah well he was more the comic relief character <laughs> Flynn in just 10 months and two days. 
from the day of the finale is going to be almost $10 million richer. Mm -hmm. How many pancakes do you think that will buy? I'd say at least 20 million. Well, he'll be happy. He's not going to go to college. Not when there's pancakes to be had. Plenty of breakfast to eat. <laughs> so that was, the, that was my favorite part. That was mm. probably my favorite part of the episode. Let's oh. talk about the ricin. I honestly didn't catch it the first time. Really? Yeah. When she or, was putting it into the tea, you didn't know? Yeah. I, I didn't realize until after that scene had ended that, like, wait a minute. That's why there was one left so that she would definitely take that one because he put the shit in it. My first thought was, well, I knew it was happening as she was pouring it in. Hmm. My first thought was, uh, they could have used it on someone better. Like, he's had this since season three and they're giving it to a season five character. This is, okay, this is probably the most predictable part of the series. Yeah. Everyone said, oh, maybe it'll be Lydia. Like, not actually knowing, but we kind of, everyone kind of had that suspicion that it was going to be Lydia who got the rice in. And that was probably the first time that everyone was right. I mean, there's only so many options. Yeah, but I mean, I think it was very fitting that Todd's death go to well, Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a great part, too. And it was kind of the revenge got him, like, good guy revenge moment right there. And that was a great part, too. Actually, what was a great part was when Walt attacked Jesse, or seemingly attacked Jesse, mm -hmm. um, but he was actually saving him. Saved his life yeah. again. So Walt had created a mechanism to use his car key clicker to have an automated turret shoot up the entire Nazi prison, basically. That was a callback to season one when they're trapped in the RV. Is that a gas or whatever? And Walt says, yeah. what can we make out of a car battery? And Jesse says, a robot. Yeah. Jesse has so many great ideas, like, almost accidentally. <laughs> like, magnets! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess Walt just felt bad for Jesse, seeing him as a prisoner, even though he wanted him dead. He's really back and forth about Jesse. I think at this point, though, he knew what was coming for himself. He didn't care or not that Jesse live because he had nothing else to hide anymore. Mm -hmm. He knew that that was probably going to be his last, his last night, so what does he need Jesse to be quiet for? And he probably knows at that point that he's kind of been in the wrong when it comes to Jesse, so why not let him live? And he does. He gets away, and he drives off into the Need for Speed movie. My least favorite part of this whole episode was Jesse's end, because he doesn't really have an end. Jesse, I think Jesse does have an end. Jesse has been kind of, he's been bogged down this entire season, pretty yeah. much, in a cage. And he's been he's been related to a dog throughout this entire season. Yeah, they've they've okay. been purposely referring to him as like a dog. And then later on, of course, he's basically on a leash now. He's caged. He's like trapped in the Nazi prison. And now he's escaped. He's a free wild dingo. Okay, but <laughs> as symbolic as that is. His series-long resolution was escaping a place that he's been for three or four episodes. Like, to me, that wasn't really enough of a resolution. I would have liked to see more of a final showdown between him and Walt, or even between, like, him and the, him and the Nazis. But I think it is fitting. He's kind of... he's clean now. He's, like, kind of escaping from that whole life. Yeah. I have a new favorite moment. <laughs> it's the flashback. When we see that box that he crafted in woodworking class, which he admitted in rehab like a few seasons ago, that he was like so proud of and he loved it and then he ended up selling it for drug money. And now he's thinking back to that moment when he made it. And it's like this beautiful scene, like the overexposed outside lighting and He's like looking at it and 
So he turns around in the flashback, and then he's kind of snapped back to reality. He's still on his chain, and he's kind of like he's daydreaming to a better time that he could definitely live now because he's clean, he's out of that business, he's totally done with it, and if he were just to escape and for no one to come looking for him, then that would be like he's starting over. So yeah, then Walt dies. Walt is um, kind of hitting the crossfires. He basically kills himself. Yeah, that's how I saw it. The turret, um, he's, he's caught in the uh, protecting Jesse, I might add. He is on top of Jesse, shielding him from the ra craziness of bullets, killing everyone. They killed everyone except for Todd. And technically it didn't kill his uncle either, because, but it did hit him and he was, there was no way he was going to live. But then Walt capped him. <laughs> so he was hit and he says to Jesse to shoot him. Jesse has picks up the gun and he's got it pointed at Walt's face and Walt says shoot him. And then he says, you know you want this. And then he says... I need you to say you want it. Like, yeah. I don't want it. You want it. Yeah. And then he sa Walt says, I want it. And then he says, then do it yourself. And he throws it at him. That was a really classic scene. Yeah. Well, he, he knew he was already dead. He saw yeah. his wound on his, that he got shot. He knew he was going to die anyway. He didn't want another death on his hands. Mm -hmm. Like, not to mention they'd been through a lot. I don't, I, I don't, actually, I don't think that really matters. He definitely wanted Walt like to be punished for everything but he knew he was gonna die anyway and he didn't want another death on his own hands so he didn't do it well Jesse's never been able to directly hurt Walt besides like a couple wrestling matches <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. he never actually like hit him Walt, yeah they did have that one really big fight in, like yeah season three or something yeah but there's been a few other times where he's been in a position to shoot or punch Walt in the face and Walt says do it and then he doesn't do it. Yeah. So. Well, and it's another, another callback to that too. Is a few episodes ago he says, "I'm done doing what you say." Yeah. And up to that point, he has never done anything. Well, they haven't really been together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was kind of the final, like, "I'm free of you. I'm free of everyone." He was being used like this entire season by Walt, by Hank, by everyone that he's come in contact with. The Nazis. He hasn't done anything by himself. And so that was kind of the final, nope, not doing what you say, rides off into the moonlight to live a happy life. Maybe he'll adopt Brock. Maybe. Is he going to live a happy life, though? I think this is, that's, I think they really send him off with a new start. Kind of the end there. I think his, his ending, his resolution was he's out of the meth business, he's off of all drugs, he's totally clean. He's free of everyone that's been bossing him around his entire life, and he can do whatever he wants. He's, he's severely traumatized from the past two years. He has no money, well, he's no of... belongings, and loose ends with Marie, I'm saying. I'm going to add that in there. I don't think the Marie part is very... Someone knows that he was a part of the meth empire. Okay. So it is a loose end. Technically. He has a lot of goods going for him. But it, he's, he still has some bads, and I just don't, I didn't like his ending. And biggest disappointment of the series, Marie lives. Okay, <sighs> I like Marie. She was number one on my hit list out of three. No one died on my hit list. Two of them got worse, but Marie, you can't win them all. So, in the end, Walt says his final goodbye to his one true love in this world. Lydia. No, God. <laughs> His last words were, were goodbye, Lydia. Well, the part I was talking about <laughs> was when he's in the meth lab. He's, like, looking around at all the stuff. He's picking everything up. He's smiling. And he puts his hand on the big, the big thing that thing. they, the main cooking the mixer. pot mixer. He puts his hand on it. And then you just see his hand and you see cops coming in in the background and his hand slips off, blood is revealed on it, and he falls to the ground. And Walt is finally no more. Died smiling in a meth laboratory. His true home.
Now, satisfied or unsatisfied overall with the ending? With Walt's ending? Everyone's ending overall, the entire series. Not satisfied. Not satisfied, I would okay. have been a thousand times satis more satisfied with season four's ending. I agree. I loved season four as a series finale. And I feel like it was meant to be still. I've been saying that. I feel like it was meant to be. But we got a fifth season. And I'd have to say for what it is, they did exactly what they needed to. They... I feel like they ran into a problem as soon as they introduced all the new characters because yeah. then they had to finish with them. Exactly. I don't think I think that had they not introduced the characters, came up with a new conflict with just the characters that were in season four and before, then the rest of the series in season five would have been a lot more satisfying overall. But with what they had, what they had to do, I think it was very satisfying. I liked it, and they tied up everything. I wish Marie would have died, but I can live with that, though, with her living. So other than Marie not being dead, I thought it was a great finale, and I'm sad that it's gone, and I think it's going to be a long time until there's another show that kind of has the same impact as Breaking Bad. I don't know why this is the show that's kind of blown up, but... It's, it's surprising in the fact that it's actually amazing. There's a lot of literary stuff. There's a lot of things that you'd say, think like, a lot of people might not get it, you know? Yeah. But I think part of the greatness of it is that you don't have to read into everything and understand all the minor details to enjoy it. And that's why it's so great. And now it's gone forever. Until Better Call Saul, technically. I'm really hoping that the last scene in the entire Better Call Saul series is Walter White opening the door to his office. That's probably going to happen. Yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching this Spoiler Talk Breaking Bad series with us. That's going to be it for the Breaking Bad Spoiler Talks, of course, because there's no more. Um, join us on October the 14th because we have another AMC show we're going to be talking about. Walking Dead Season 4 will be starting on the 13th and we're going to be talking about that. So make sure you subscribe to see that as well as all our other videos. I'm Josh. I'm Tommy. And we'll see you next time. Alright, I'll give you that loose end. Okay, cool. Here you go.